this copy of Cosmic Cow Collectors was given to me as a review copy at Gen Con. Please keep that in mind going forward as I have clicked the little paid, promotion, paid promotional button on YouTube. Hello and welcome to Assorted Meeples. I'm Phil the Meeple on Duty and today we are digging into Cosmic Cow Collectors by Draco Studios and Detestable Games. I read through the rule book. Back up. I watched the backer kit for this one. Very interested in it. Unfortunately, it did not make sense for me to pick it up as a single game in that Kickstarter, because while the others were very interesting to me, did not interest me like this one did. And after reading the rule book and picking it up at Gen Con after talking with uh, Will at their uh, Drago Studios booth, that was absolutely fabulous. This game is the type of ridiculous that I love. It is a very simple, very clean game, and there's also a ton of chaos that's going to get brought out as you play the game, and that, that is the sort of game I look, for, look forward to playing. I'm interrupting your regular scheduled programming to say, hit the subscribe button down below, go check in the links, and you will see that we have a Patreon set up dollar a month gets you into our discord and we would love to see you in our growing community back to our regular scheduled programming so let's get into it let's take a look at the components first now the components are quite fabulous the box work i mean is honestly something i wish more games had it's a small box game and they did right by making it the appropriate size rather than a full size box. Let's go ahead and set this up right here. If you want to stand, there you go. You're going to stand. So first off inside, we have the rule book. Next, we have the player boards. Now these are super heavy duty cardboard with each character having a different artwork on the back. I actually missed this on my first uh, look through the game as I read the rules, but these are some absolutely stunning player boards here. The What I really love about these two is this is a very simple game and they made a very simple, easy, straightforward UI for players to use, and I appreciate that. Next up, we have the tokens. We have the first player marker, which is made of the same uh, cardboard that the player boards are made of. Really thick, really heavy, really wonderful. Next, we'll get that bag out of the way. We have all of the aliens. That is your player. Every player will get a one and they'll get two little cow meeples to keep track of their score slash cows they've abducted. These are extremely nice too. Really thick, big, chunky, even in my hands. The cows are a little small, but that's okay. The They do a phenomenal job of doing what they're supposed to do and keeping a very simple game straightforward and streamlined. I really enjoy all the pieces in here. And lastly, we have the cards. Move the box out of the way now. The cards, the artwork on the cards is everything you could want and a little more. They show gorgeous detail on the cows as well as these unique and interesting planets. Each planet has a number. We'll get into this in a bit when we get into the rules. And each card of the same number is the same artwork, which is perfectly fine to me because it makes it really easy when you're playing the game to look at a card and be like, oh, it's that planet, so it's this number. The cards themselves, 
Very nice card stock or playing cards. Looks, these look like they might be black core, but I could be wrong. And then they have a very nice uh, feel to them on the bend when you touch using them. This game is very straightforward. I love the detail that they threw into this. This is not a high component game and they went to the right level. They could have gone out and got minis. They could have done a lot more to it, but they chose no. This is a simple game that we want to get into a lot of people's hands with amazing over the top components. They didn't have to go so heavy on the boards. They didn't have to do the big, large uh, alien figures. They didn't have to do super nice cards, but they did, and it shows, and I really appreciate it. So let's go ahead and get into how to play now that we've seen what the game looks like and what the components are. Let's go ahead and look at how we're gonna play. So I'm gonna slide on over here so right beside me I can pop up some bigger images of the cards and everything that needs to be shown. So. To start the game, every player is going to get a player board, which we'll get into a little more detail on here very soon, and it has the gorgeous artwork on the back. And they're going to get five cards dealt to them from the planet deck. You're going to take your alien to start. You're going to put them to the side. And the cows are going to, one will get set aside. You'll get two of them, and one will get set at 10. Everybody starts with 10 cows. You can lose cows. You can gain cows. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the cards in front of us. So I have an eight cow here. So I'll pull that up right beside me. And the eight cow has three stars next to it. And that means there are three of those cards total in the game for the number eight. That will, when I come back to this, that will be, the eight will become very important. On your player board, you're going to have, and again, it'll pop up here right next to me. You're going to have across the bottom, you're going to have the scoreboard. That is where your cows, how many you keep track of how many cows you have, and you start with 10, and you're going to be gaining them throughout the game and possibly losing some cows throughout the course of the game. Before everybody starts, you're, everybody is going to pick one for ease sake. I'm going to say the eight is going down in front of my player board face down. So nobody knows what it is except for me. At any point, I can pick it up secretly and look at what number it is. Now, this game has three actions across the top of your player board. On your turn, you're going to put your alien down on one space that you were not previously on so you can't go to the same space twice the abduct action you are going to say a number up to the number on your card you will also pick up cows equal to the number of abducted or invaded planets that you have beside you. So starting of the game, you have zero. So you can say up to, in this case, eight. And at that point, you would move your little cow up to eight, which at this point from 10 to 18. Now, everybody guessing, or everybody is going to go around the board taking their turn. You're going to take one action and then move on. When you invade, which is the middle section, you are going to declare an opponent. You're going to guess, take a guess at what their planet size is. So in my case, it's an eight. If that was the other person's and I declared it right, I would. they would say, yes, it is an eight. And they're going to bring it over and they're going to set it down in front of them. This is points at the end of the game, as well as extra points during the abduct phase. The opponent, your opponent, would then choose a new card from their hand and put it down in front of them, and they would lose five points. If you are wrong, 
your opponent tells you, and you can choose another player or the same person two times of the three to invade their planet. If you don't guess any correctly, you are going to have you are going to lose three points and it's the next person's turn. Last up, we have the explore. You're going to draw one card from the planet deck into your hand. If you are not the player with the most cows, you're going to draw another card and you gain three cows. That's it. If you go above, if that draw up takes you above four cards in your hand, you're going to discard down to four cards. Now, with discarding cards, you are going to discard them face up in the middle where the numbers on the planets stay visible. This is to keep everything so everybody knows known data. There's no hiding known data. There are some final scorings that happen at the end of the game. Each invaded planet that you have on your side is worth five points. Uh, for the card, you're gonna also take your cards in hand plus your secret planet, planet for these next bonuses. And that is going to be three or more small planets. You're gonna go 15. Three or four or five consecutive number planets is an extra 20. So eight, nine, I do believe are both small planets. And 8, 9, 10, I think, are small planets, and then everything else is considered big. So there's a lot of ways to win without having to cross that 120 mark first. A lot of big points for after-game scoring, especially if you invaded a lot of planets and you watch what you keep in your hand. If you do that, you're going to be pretty solid. This game does everything that I hoped it would do in the which is it has the bluffing it has the deduction it has the ability to get rid of your secret planet to put a new one down so people can't invade your planet it has all the things i wanted from this game on top of stellar components that make this game feel really good on the table and look really good on the table it is a game that has a very simple rule set that's going to get very complex as you get into the game with a bunch of players playing at the same time. I love games that do that. So I see this one sticking around for a good long while. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this game. If you've played it, if it's on your wish list, any of that stuff. And again, thank you Draco Studios and Detestable Games for a review copy of this. I can't wait to get to the table with the Meeples. It's a four player game, so it's a little harder to play at home with the kids and the wife and all that because it, we play, we need a six player game. So thank you guys very much for watching and we will see you next time. All right, bye. If you like what you just saw, please support us by hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel for more great gaming content.